Today, heartbreaking images of loss across the Baton Rouge region, furniture, clothing, family photos tossed out on street curbs, all ruined by the floodwaters that stood waist high in some homes. To date, more than 100,000 Louisianans have applied for federal assistance. Some have already received portions of the $20 million dispersed to pay for temporary housing and repairs, but so many others still waiting. Seen as Polo Sandoval live in Gonzales, Louisiana. Polo, uh, is the help coming fast enough for these families? Well, you talk to people here, John, they'll tell you it can't come fast enough, but they're also very familiar with the fact that every time that you are applying for federal assistance, it does take some time. So what we're seeing now our homeowners, as you mentioned, going into their homes and actually removing not only the furniture that's been damaged and ruined, but also some of the uh, material that makes up the interior of the homes. They don't want to risk it. They want to make sure that mold is out of the picture. So what they're doing is they're taking it upon themselves to go inside, gut their homes, and then, of course, eventually get some of that federal assistance that is badly needed, John. Uh, there is concern that that 50, 55 million dollars may not be enough for many of these communities. And quickly, Polo, you have seen incredible acts of kindness on the ground there, correct? Yeah. Uh, yes, the silver lining in all this, John, I should tell you that a few moments ago I met a couple from Louisiana, John uh, and Carrie Bloom, on this very spot. This morning they woke up, they turned to their old family recipe to make some good jambalaya and hot dogs. They threw it all in the back of their truck, drove here from New Orleans, and then began to hand out food. The Blooms actually survived Katrina, so this is their way of giving back to the neighbors that helped them over 10 years ago. And John, let me tell you this, after being here for several days, a smile and a little bit of jambalaya goes a very long way. It sure does. People stepping up there, so wonderful to yeah. see. Polo Sandoval, thanks so much.